welcome to my filmmakers episode. I'm going to tell you a little bit about how I make the videos now. At the start of the project I took still pictures using this, a trusty little digital camera. It was a very nice little camera at the time but not very expensive. I would put the still photos onto WordPress and what this meant was that um, I could tell my friends and relatives where the pictures were rather than me becoming a bore about my new project. After a while I realized that this camera had a video mode and it would shoot what is now considered low resolution video. So I didn't know what to do with these so I ended up opening a YouTube account because that was the only place that you could put videos and I put them onto YouTube and then I used to say to friends and relatives I've put a new video up if you're interested go and have a look. That attracted a few subscribers and I started to enjoy making films. An iPhone is a much better camera than one of these and this takes high definition video. So I ended up starting to take much better video. Unfortunately, at that time I was posting the videos onto YouTube and I used to post them up in very low res because people were concerned about downloading speed. Um, things have changed since then. I used Sarah as the cameraman. I would do the project and she would hold the iPhone and film me um, and I would post the results. When Sarah went to Europe I didn't have a cameraman so I had to find a tripod and once I started using the tripod I've never gone backwards. You take much better video when you use a tripod. My iPhone evolved into a Samsung. I got superb results with the smartphone and the tripod. To make a decent movie you need editing software. All Macs are shipped with iMovie and this is brilliant. Eventually I hit the limits of what iMovie could do so I progressed to Final Cut Pro. This is one of my recent movies. This is the editing view that I work with and it's quite simple and understandable. If you want to put blurry waterproof circles on bare bottoms then you need clever software like Final Cut Pro. But I tell you it's very complicated and it took me four hours to do that. Upgrading the software came at a price. It wouldn't run on my old Mac. I had to buy a new Mac with a decent graphics card and plenty of memory. As an aside, the new Mac is just awesome. I prefer to put the audio onto the movies at the end. And this is the microphone that I use. It's a Zoom H4n. I think it's brilliant. Shortly after I reached 10,000 subscribers, I got an unexpected phone call from YouTube. I was invited to Sydney to a party of what they call YouTubers or content creators and this was really good fun. The party was filled with interesting people that made films about online gaming, baking cakes, dancing, music, everything. Everything you can possibly think of. It was an awesome party. YouTube invited TV producers, radio producers, brand people, advertising. It was very interesting. They put on a lot of food. It was great fun. <laughs> I had a fabulous time. Hi everyone, welcome to Google Australia. Um, live from a YouTube happy hour event gathering 150 amazing YouTube creators and key partners. Rap, crime, avoid joy, ride to shit. We've been holding down the force since high school. So, so consider this the arrival. Driven by instincts for survival. See, besides me, I've always got my prize. I decided to upgrade the camera and bought a Nikon. After two months of persistence, I couldn't get it to take video that was better than my smartphone. So I returned it and bought a Canon. I bought a Canon 750 with a kit lens, 
It's intuitive and easy to use and I really like the results. The shop suggested I buy a 50mm prime lens. It turned out to be good advice. This is the Rode mic that fits on top of the camera. I've been very pleased with it. The thing I like about this Canon is not just the awesome video quality, but the fold out touch screen at the back. This makes it much easier to focus and set up the shots. Welcome to the new member of the camera family. I've only just purchased it and I've got no idea how to use it yet. I suspect it will be making an appearance over the coming months. There are a few people who've been influential in the way I make my videos. Casey Neistat, a New York vlogger. Wrangler Style with a homesteading channel. Jehu Garcia with his videos about his electric samba. I think Bryce at Living Big in a Tiny House makes awesome videos. As my filmmaking developed, I learned to layer in music. Adding the right music to a video can really make a huge difference. I buy the music from Audio Jungle. There's an immense choice and it can take ages to find just the right piece. I wanted a short animated introduction. I bought Apple Motion's animation software. This is spectacularly complicated and it took eight hours to make a two second introduction. Going to the YouTube party reinforced my beliefs that I didn't want adverts on my channel. For many years I've had YouTube advertising firmly switched off. I do put links to my ebooks in movies over 5 minutes where it's appropriate. If you're enjoying our adventure and you want to contribute to its success, then buying a copy or two of my ebooks is a great way of helping. I've really enjoyed making these videos and I never expected them to be so popular or well received. Views are now measured in the millions and I'm getting subscribers by the 10,000. It's unbelievable, so thank you. Every day I check my emails and I get messages from all around the world with fabulous messages and comments and it's very enjoyable to receive. I'm going to share one of them. It's from Haroon Ben Unis, and I hope I've got his name right, um, and he's in Tunisia in North Africa, and he contacted me to say that the whole community were following our adventures and some of the stuff I was doing was helpful. So hello to the whole community in uh, Tunisia, wherever you are, and I'm very pleased that you're enjoying them. If you've been following for any length of time, you'll be aware that the house is largely built. I do, however, have a lot more projects that aren't finished, haven't been done, or are only partially started. So there's going to be quite a few more videos coming over the coming period. Well, I'll say cheerio for now, and stay tuned for the next part of the adventure. Bye. Press subscribe to follow more of our adventures, and please press the like button if you enjoyed this video. It helps the channel. For more information about the ebooks, please visit my website at buildshippingcontainerhouse.com.